Now I gotta be honest, when I'm meeting with a new student, one of the most requested things that people wanna work on is expanding their range. So how do we expand the range? Let's talk about it. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Veronica Kokus. I'm a voice teacher located here in the Richmond, Virginia metro area. I teach students locally in person, and I also teach students nationwide online. Now today we're gonna to be talking about the singing range. How do you expand your singing range? Why is it important to work the entire part of your range? And we're even gonna do some vocal exercises to work on this exact thing. Now when we talk about expanding your singing range, one thing that I think people miss is that we don't just wanna be able to sing the highest and lowest notes in our range, we wanna be able to sing the notes through the entire part of our vocal range with strength and clarity. You know, we don't just wanna be able to access the high and low notes, we wanna be able to sing them well. So how do we do that? How do we navigate the entirety of our range with clarity and ease? Well, the first place that you really wanna start is by understanding what the different parts of your range actually are. And part of that is understanding the differences between chest register or chest voice and head register slash head voice, okay? When I'm using the word register, it essentially means the same thing as voice. So head voice, chest voice, head register, chest register, it's all the same thing. And if you don't know the differences between those parts of the voice, I recommend that you go check out my video on this exact thing. Um, I believe it's called the differences between head and chest voice and the real reason why singing in your head voice is so hard. So if head voice and chest voice are kind of unfamiliar territory for you, I recommend that you go check out that video first. Once you understand what your head and chest voice actually are, you're going to want to work on strengthening those parts of the voice. You're gonna to want to work on strengthening your voice from bottom to top, um, really being able to navigate each pitch with clarity and ease. You can start off with small scales like this one. E then gradually building up to more complicated scales like this one. And building up from there. Focusing, uh, as you work on those exercises, focusing on clarity and ease. So let's get to the real reason why you're here, which is expanding the range, expanding the vocal range and working on that. Now, as a disclaimer, there is a reason why I had us kind of dive into talking about understanding the parts of the range and working on simple scales before this, because I believe it's really important to have some understanding of how do I produce a clear tone before diving into exercises that expand your range. Personally, with my own students, we kind of work on these ideas at the same time. So I'll have my students do like simple scales or complex scales, depending on what skill level they're at. And we also do range expanding exercises and we do all of those exercises within a single lesson. So we kind of work on both of those things at the same time, which you certainly can do that. And I know a lot of teachers that do that. Um, but I do think that some sort of grasp on your range, like when it comes to clarity of your voice and clarity of tone is really essential for singing these sorts of exercises well that are going to expand your range. Now, when it comes to expanding your range, you're going to want to do arpeggiated exercises, okay? So these are the kinds of exercises you wanna do that move your voice from one end of your range to the other and then back down. Something like this. Doing at least an octave or an octave and a half. Um, but if you're a beginner, if you're someone that is just starting out with your singing voice, and even with a lot of my own students, I do simpler exercises of usually only doing a fifth, like 
So we're actually going to do this pattern together, um, singing on yaw. And as we do this, I want you to aim for clarity and consistency. And what I mean by that, in case it wasn't clear earlier, is that we want to feel like our, our voice has the same clear tone on each pitch. Feeling that there's not one pitch that kind of sticks out that's like not as good as the others. Um, feeling that all of the pitches kind of have equal weight and power. Um, like sometimes it can feel like one pitch is kind of a little bit weaker than the other ones. We really wanna try and work through that. Um, obviously, if you wanna work on that more in depth, you can set up a trial lesson with me at the link below in the description and we can talk about that and work on that some more. But again, this is just a little demonstration to kind of show you the kind of exercise you can work on to expand your range. So again, we're going to sing on ya. Ya, 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 ya. Really easily going for clarity. So we're gonna do this together. Ya, 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 ya. Go ahead and sing with me, breathing in. Ya, ya, ya. exercise but you can always build upon it so like I uh, like I demonstrated earlier I was doing kind of a uh, more extended arpeggio so I was going ya, 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 or something like that um, you can build on to these kinds of exercises you can start from an easy place like where we just stopped exercises are going to help to expand your range. All right, so that is just one example of the kinds of exercises that you can do to help expand your range. And like I said, if you want to work on clarifying your voice, getting a clearer tone when you sing, uh, you can certainly sign up for a free 30-minute trial lesson at the link below. Um, I also include these kinds of exercises as part of my membership program, the Curious Singer Membership. Um, what that is, is it's an on-demand vocal coaching program um, where I include a whole library of warm-up tracks that you can sing with, uh, just like this one. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, you know, like, subscribe, drop a comment below. If you've got any other singing questions, you can also drop those in the comments and I'd be happy to take a look at those. Um, but until next time, happy singing, y'all.